Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here for you with a DIY manicure video. With the lockdown on and all salon shut, we still would love to keep up our hair, skin, nails and everything. So this video is going to be super simple. It's with minimal products, as minimal as I could keep it. And I'm sure you're going to enjoy this video. Also, while you're at it, please do like, share and subscribe. Please subscribe to my channel. It really motivates me to make a lot more videos for you. Also, follow me on Instagram because I put up a lot of updates with regard to products, reviews and short tutorials there. So do follow me on Instagram as well. Let's get started. So these are all the products that we are going to be using today. I've tried my best to keep them minimal. All these products are going to be linked down below. You can shop them from the links that are provided. So we're going to start out by using a beautiful candle to give that spa like experience. Also play some really relaxing music in the background. Remember, this is your time for self care and self love. So we'll start out by first removing our nail polish. I'm using the hip hop nail polish remover pads. Even the Cara nail wipes are really good. They are thinner in nature than the hip hop ones and better quality. But since it's locked down, I'm just going to use what I have at home. This is how it looks. You can even use your nail polish liquid along with cotton. It does the same job. Next, we'll be cutting our nails to the desired length. I prefer keeping my nails as short as possible in this time of COVID since I do not want to accumulate any dirt or germs in them. So I'm just going to be cutting out my nails. Next, we file our nails. This is the Crystal Filer by Vega. You can even use your simple metal filer or the emery board filers. I like my nails round, so I'm going to shape them that way. Next, I will be taking a bowl of lukewarm water. Please keep in mind that it should be lukewarm. So it gives you that very relaxing feel to which I'll be adding bath salts. This is the bath salt by Omved. You can even add liquid soap and create a froth and soak your hands for around five minutes till your nails turn soft. Take your time with this, enjoy the experience. Remember to mix the bath salts if you're using bath salts because they are a bit hard. After this, I'll be using a nail oil, which also doubles up as a cuticle oil. This is by the brand Ariana by Arshneet. The brand owner also said that apart from using it as a nail oil, you can use it as a cuticle oil during a manicure. You can even use your humble coconut oil and massage it into your cuticles. Also remember to leave it on for around 5 minutes and then massage it. Next I'll be taking my Auden stick which is also a cuticle pusher. The purpose of pushing back your cuticles is just to make it look a little more neat. This is how it looks. On one end it has a cuticle pusher and on the other hand end you can use that to clean out your nails. Do this gently if you are a first timer or a beginner since you may end up hurting yourself if you do it too hard since that part of your nails are a bit sensitive. Take your time and push back your cuticles. You could even use the metal cuticle pusher that you get in a set. The next I'll be using a cuticle trimmer in order to trim out my cuticles. This step specifically has to be done very gently because there have been times when I have had accidents that led to bleeding. Follow the same process that you see in the clip to trim out your cuticles. The cuticles are basically the dead skin that accumulates over a period of time. The next thing I'll be doing is buffing out my nails. This is the Vega nail buffer. It's not the best quality but this is what I had at home and I couldn't really go out and buy another buffer. The purpose of buffing is basically to smoothen out the ridges on your nails or as we say the lines on your nails. It makes the nail bed very smooth. After buffing out your nails you can just take a tissue and wipe out all the excess. Next, I'll be taking a nail shiner in order to give my nails a natural shine without 
having to put any product like a top or a base coat. This is the one by OPI. You get this readily on Nykaa as well as Amazon. It's an excellent product. It gives the nails a really nice reflective look that lasts for a, quite a few days. Take your time and give your nails that beautiful shine. As you can see, my nails are quite reflective without putting any product. Next, I apply a scrub. You can use a hand scrub or you can even use your body scrub that you may have at home. If you do not have either, you could use an old toothbrush or a loofah in order to scrub your hands with the help of some liquid soap. This is just to remove any dead skin cells. Next, I'll be using a mask. This is not a specific hand mask. This is a normal face mask that I would use. This is the one by Good Vibes, the rose hip anti-aging mask. I prefer to use this one at this point because I just felt like my hands were getting a few wrinkles. You could even use an anti-tan mask if you feel that your hands are tanned or any mask that you would need according to your concerns. Leave it on to dry. However, leave it till it's semi-dry. Do not dry out your mask completely because that may just suck out all the moisture from your hands and that's something you do not want. Next, I'll be taking a bowl of lukewarm water again and washing out the mask properly. Take your time to do this because you don't want any particles of the mask left in your nails because they may harden and it may get really icky to remove and also difficult. Next, I'll be taking a hand cream. You can use any hand cream, a body moisturizer, body lotion. I'm taking the one by Bath & Body Works and I'm just going to give myself a nice massage. I'm going to take my time and moisturize my hands. After all the scrubbing and the mask, I'm just going to nicely moisturize it. You can use these kinds of movements in order to moisturize your hands. And voila, we have beautiful nails, beautiful hands with a simple, easy manicure at home. Pretty aren't So I hope you enjoyed my video. It was a super simple manicure routine that gets done really quickly. Do let me know if you try it. Also, I've linked both my videos here. Do check them out. Also, subscribe to my channel. It's free, 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 free. Do share this video with your family and friends. I'm sure it's going to help someone or the other out there who really wants to groom themselves but is not able to go to the salon. Thank you so much for watching my video. Bye.